Oh, no, I just missed that. Shanna has been abandoned and isolated due to mom's death. Shanna says she's okay. I think it's affected her a lot. The conditions are bad. Feces everywhere, garbage everywhere. Okay. Smells horrible. I think smelling a corpse would be easier than smelling that. My mother's old bedroom is used specifically for storage. There's some bags of plastic bottles in there. My mother used to put poop in a jug. Actually, by the time you put it in there, it's actually a dirty water jug is what that is. So that's what all those dirty water jugs are about. I want to say that the reason that Shanna didn't get rid of all those bottles is because she's lazy. I hope it's not sentimental to her. This house has the septic issue. It's supposed to be drained once every four years. And there's still some space in the toilet, but I don't want it to overflow. So I've been using a bucket. I think the house will kill Shanna if she doesn't get out of there. I'm so worried about her health. When the bucket is full of pee and poop, it's really hard to lift it. So I just put it in a smaller bucket. And I take it outside and empty it. I feel sickened by all this. I'm generally an optimistic person, but I, I just can't see the finish line. Oh, no, no. We go. Shanna is not all right in that house. I throw it on the grass, right, right out here, right out here in the front. If she stays there much longer, she could die. 